Thomas with Brain Trust Digital. I'm a full stack developer obsessed with learning. If you're interested in learning full stack, please subscribe below to receive new content. In this quick tip, we're going to walk through generating new SSH keys. SSH keys are an access credential used to authenticate via the SSH protocol into a remote system. Basically, these allow you to log into your remote servers without the need for a password in a much more secure manner. SSH keys always come in pairs, a public and a private key. The private key only ever exists on your local machine, so you don't want to add this to repositories or share it anywhere openly or publicly. The public key, on the other hand, you're going to add to all the machines that you'd like to log into or add it as part of your deployment solution. The combination of this public and private key are what authenticate you in and grant you access to that system. So now that we understand what SSH keys are, why use them? The answer here is quite simple. An SSH key is just much more complex and much longer than any password you could ever create or remember reasonably. They're much easier to manage, especially if you have multiple servers, and it's just a much more efficient way of handling authentication with a remote system. For this quick tip, we only have one requirement. It's going to be a server you can log into. In our case, we're going to be using an Amazon instance, but you could use any cloud provider or virtual machine you prefer. Lastly, the plan for this quick tip. First, we're going to generate SSH keys. Next, we'll add the public key to our remote server. Finally, we're going to log into that server using our newly generated keys. So with all that set up out of the way, let's get into the quick tip. We'll begin with the first step of generating our SSH key using the SSH key gen command. Um, we're gonna pass a couple of flags to this command. Um, in our case, we're gonna use uh, dash T, RSA, so that's the type. We're gonna be passing an RSA type key. Uh, B for the bits, 4096. Uh, and then C is a comment, and typically this is passed as uh, your email address. At brain-trust.io. So we'll generate our key pair. In the default location, this is typically recommended, so it'll generate it in this .ssh folder with the uh, ID underscore RSA. Um, you can add a password if you want. I don't typically do so. Match the passphrase if you did. Then CD into the SSH folder. And you should be able to see your new key. So here's your private key here, ID underscore RSA. And then your public key will be here with the dot uh, pub extension here. So if you cat out the dot public key, you can see there's your public key. Next, we're going to go through adding that public key to our remote server. So we'll copy this real quickly, uh, clear the screen, and then SSH into our remote server, which we've already set up ahead of time. 52.55.144.44. In this case, we have currently password authentication set up but we'll be migrating to use our uh, SSH keys. So you can see we've got our server here. If we clear the screen, uh, CD into the uh, .ssh folder. Um, and then we can add our public key by adding this to the uh, authorized keys file. Just paste in that public key we just copied from our local machine. Save that. Exit. Now that we're logged out of the server, we can SSH back into the server, this time without providing a password. That wraps up this quick tip. One last note I wanted to point out though, as you start to add more and more of these SSH keys, you'll want to start taking advantage of SSH config, which is something I've covered in a previous video tutorial uh, that I'll link in the show notes. Please remember to like and subscribe. This really helps out the channel as we're obviously just getting started here. So feel free to leave questions or comments, requests in the uh, comment section below. And I'll catch you in the next quick tip.